How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see I'm probably I'm in a different location. I've actually moved house, um, hence why I haven't really posted in the last three weeks. So I moved house, um, had a bit of an upgrade to the gaming chair, and overall just had to reset up a new set of rooms, so therefore, yeah, I've kind of had a little break from uh, making videos, but yeah, I'm back just before Christmas. For one, I want to do a, a sales video on some of the games I pick up during the sales. Uh, I've tried not to do the same games I seem to do in every sale video, but we'll probably just shout out a couple of the most popular ones. But today, in this video, get my old Steam Deck, we're going to look at some new uh, plugins that recently got added uh, that I really love. I think they're some of my favourite plugins I've ever seen. So just some really good quality of life stuff and yeah. And a one customization one, which is awesome as well. So stay tuned and we'll look at some new plugins. I hope that looks okay, guys. Apologies on the extremely poor filming style today. I actually left my um, tripod at home where I used to live, was back at my parents' house, um, and I haven't brought it to my new house. So literally one of the only things I've actually forgotten to bring with me. So apologies for that. I'm hoping that this looks okay. I'll try and keep it in focus, uh, but I've got a really B-Tech setup going up right now. It's, um, yeah, it's not amazing, but I'll get the point across in the video. You can understand what I'm saying, and yeah, I'll show you some new pop-ups or plugins even. So this is based on the guide that you already know how to install plugins. If you don't, I'm going to splice that part of my video, old video, into this video. And if you already know, if you've already got the plugin thing installed, then... You shouldn't even need to watch that just skip past and come back and meet me here in a second so okay so welcome back guys as you can see i'm on the home of my steam deck mine looks a little different i've got some different plugin features going on at the minute um i'm obviously going to show you how to install plugins first and then we can get into using it and uh, how it looks just in general i've got as you can see i'm messing about with a few theme settings here i've got kind of like an indigo theme going on which i quite like and i've got the box arts a little bit rounded so this can all be done through plugins uh, and it's a plugin called Decky and I'll show you how to install that. So to start with, we're going to go to settings, go to system and you need to enable developer mode. And once you've enabled developer mode, if you go all the way down to uh, the developer tab, um, in fact, I think it's a developer tab is one of these. Yeah, right at the bottom here. You may need to restart after developer mode. I'm not 100% sure because I did enable this a while ago, but if, in case nothing shows up down here, restart the device. Should we come back in here? Developer mode will be enabled. So once you've gone, gone all the way down to developer, you want to enable CEF remote debugging. And that'll allow Decky, which is our little uh, plugin manager, to enable the plugins, basically. So once this is enabled, restart the device and go into... You click power. There you go, switch to desktop. And then we can mess about. It's, it's a little bit tricky if you haven't done anything like this before in the background. But I'll talk you through it. It isn't too hard. So in order to enable and install the plugin manager, you need to go to bottom left down here and you need to find your terminal manager, which is on the Steam Deck is called console. So if you go to all applications and scroll to console, here it is. And what you need to put in here is a line of code. If you click, click paste. And if you copy the link, uh, the code I have on the screen now or in the description, it's a lot easier just to copy and paste from the description. So if you copy and paste from the description and put that in here using a keyboard or just by right clicking and clicking paste and press enter, you'll be required to put your password in. If you haven't set a password, what you need to do is open the keyboard and just literally say pass. W, D, press enter. And if you haven't set a password, it'll ask you to set one. Set something you'll remember. It's very important you remember this because it's a pain in the ass if you forget it. So if you put the password in, then you refollow the step where you paste in your plugin download link. You plug that in there and it asks you the password. You put your new password in that you've set. And once that's finished installing, click X and literally just return to game mode 
and I think you'll be required to restart your device as well. So you might as well just click restart in the bottom left, uh, return to game mode if you want, and then restart the device as well. It's up to you. But once you've restarted your device, you should have access to the plugin manager and it'll appear in your side taskbar here. Right guys, so I assume you've already got the plugin stuff set up. Uh, if not, go back and watch that last bit of the video. And once you've done that, you'll be ready to go. So a couple of new plugins that got added to Decky recently, really good ones. Um, so I've been using Vibrant Deck for the last two months now. That's an absolute must for anybody using the Steam Deck. So Vibrant Deck, it, it actually increases the saturation within games. You can increase it to the point where the games look ridiculously oversaturated and unnatural, but if you can turn it just right, the games do look insanely better on the colour spectrum um, without having introduced like any like ridiculous like oversaturation or vibrancy problems. So if you do that, then you've got an amazing looking screen again, because I know the screen, especially when I go back and forth between looking at it, what it was like beforehand and looking at what it is like after this plugin, it's night and day difference. The, this, the original screen in the Steam Deck is just, it almost is black and white. There's very little color to it after you've seen the uh, saturated version. So yeah, that's cool. We've already spoke about that though. But if we keep going down, I use Proton D DB badges as well, but we'd already spoke about that. The ones that I want to talk to you about today, it's quite a lot of them now. So this one is also very, very sick. This is one of the ones I talked to you about. So how long to beat this game is basically a website where you get to find out roughly from quite a lot of people who have used it just how long it takes somebody to beat a game it's as simple as that so it adds like a little plug-in bar at the bottom i'll just show you some examples so here we go say i want to go on persona 5 royale but i only have about 20 hours to kill i'm only looking for a 20 hour game but look persona 5 is going to take you at least 100 hours and this is calculated from thousands of people who have logged their time uh, on this website it's a very popular website so this gives you a really rough estimate or kind of like accurate estimate to be fair on how long it's going to take the average person to play the main story of persona 5 and as you can see here it's a long long game <laughs> so you really got to dedicate some time towards this one and as you can see i'm still dedicating time to this one i mean it's an amazing game it's just a very long game and as you can see if you want to do everything it like 143 hours that's a pretty fat jrpg if you want to see more details really cool it opens the web browser and you can actually just have a look at the breakdown on uh, the website but not really useful for uh, just quickly searching but as you can see how long to beat this game i love it because it just gives me a quick breakdown on how long it's going to take me to beat a game another example jedi fallen order so 17 hours for main story, that's more reasonable. I'll be probably thinking to myself, yeah, that sounds more reasonable. I'll probably pick up this one and play this one a little bit quicker. Vampire Survivors, I don't even know if that has a finish. Okay, so it's got like an 8.53 hours main story. And like I say, this is all based off like real world usage in games. So it's a very accurate amount of time, like 3.1 hours of main story. I think I've, I've finished it like maybe twice though, so... You can definitely finish it quicker. That's just like an average first time playthrough of the game. Um, I mean, I was just literally going through it all day yesterday, just, just seeing how long it would take to play different games. And it's just fascinating to see the amount of time it takes with, to, to finish certain games. Surprised me in some of them as well. So yeah, that's one of the plugins I wanted to show you guys today. Very useful. The next plugin I want to show you guys is Steam Grid DB. So Steam Grid Database. And what this app does it's actually insane. It actually, it changes the box art and banners of any game you want from the, Switch, uh, the Steam Deck library, which is insane because before I had to go on to desktop mode, I had to then select which game I wanted to change, type it in, I'd have to connect to an external keyboard because obviously the touchscreen on this one is a bit of a shitter. So I'll give you an example. It's pretty probably easier just to show you how to do it. As you can see, my box art is different for quite a lot of games and this is purely because of that plugin so let's say i'm a bit bored of this crash uh, box art if i go click on the game and then go change artwork so settings change artwork 
It will literally load up the, the uh, website for me within Steam uh, OS, which is why it looks so clean. And I'm like, oh, I quite fancy a new uh, crash box art just to spice up the my games library, give it a little bit more personality. And to be fair, there's not an insane amount of crash box art here that I actually like. Um, a lot of it's very similar. But for the sake of it, let's just go wacky and crazy and choose like an abstract art or some shit like that. So let's choose that one. So what we do is we just literally click A and it says it's been applied. And if we go back to the box art, it's instantly changed to the new box art. And not only can we do this for the box art, we can also do it for a wide capsule, which I think is like the recent game you've been playing. It shows up on the home screen. The hero, which is literally the banner. So if I choose this one, majestically looking in the sunset, as you can see, it's just changed the personality, the personality of the game. It, you know, you can really, some artwork in some of these, in some of these games are really, really good. Some people have made some really good um, logos, you know, banners, everything. This one was a bit of a bad example. It's pretty poor, to be fair. Um, I've seen some amazing designs in some of these games. Let's try Mirror's Edge. You could literally just spend hours changing all your artworks as well. So it's really fun. You got some really cool abstract Mirror's Edge art here. You got Faith running inside of buildings. You're just taking a selfie in, in the in the reflections. So once you're satisfied, I actually do really like that. It's quite abstract, isn't it? It's just you know, posing in front of a of a building you're climbing. Classic. Typical Mirror's Edge stuff. So I might change it to this. And it's as easy as just clicking here. It's really simple to use. Quite fancy Faith running away from the helicopter. We'll apply that and then the logo. Don't know, we'll just keep it basic mirror's edge, I guess. That'll go well with the, the logo we just chose, the background. And you can even add an icon as well. So here's how it's looking now. And yeah, it really just changes the box art. I know that like, it isn't a massive, massive deal, but if you're a fan of customization like me, you'll really appreciate that. And it's just a really easy way of doing it. I'll do one more. We'll do Alien v Predators. So we change artwork um, see what kind of cool stuff we've got going on. There's also pretty sick artwork going on here. So if you're more of a fan of Alien, you could have the Alien show up first. Uh, vice versa with a Predator. Um, I really like this artwork to be fair. It looks really cool. So I'll change it to that one. Uh, logo, keep the same. Kind of hero we've got going on. It's the Predator absolutely bossing both of them about. And to be fair, I'm more of an alien guy, so I don't really want to see alien like that. Uh, that one's pretty cool. We get a logo that isn't going to clash with that. I think like, the white is not going to go very well with that, is it? It goes okay, but as you can see, another game customised. And you can really just personalise your Steam Deck, is what I'm trying to get out of this video. But yeah, those are two more plugins that I really recommend you guys using. And... If you like the video, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've been using any more plugins or if you have any other plugins that you want to see. But yeah, guys, I hope that was uh, useful and uh, you can make some more customization choices on your Steam Deck. Next video should be a Christmas sales video, so keep up to date with that. I'm really going to try and get it out uh, either Christmas Day or Boxing Day. I know the Steam sales go Boxing Day is a UK holiday, by the way, if you get confused by me saying that. Um... I know the sales go up to the 5th of January, so maybe I might time it for afterwards, you know, when you get all your Christmas money, you want to just absolutely unload the wallet on uh, Steam. I, as you know, I'm going to be as well. I mean, I'm in the same boat. There's some really cool games that I'm looking forward to getting this. Uh, and actually playing, having some time to play games as well. Uh, this this Christmas, I know you guys in America say holiday season. But yeah, I mean, all inclusive in it. So if you've enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments and I'll speak to you guys soon, guys.